Hey guys, so I'm back today to bring you kind of a work-related makeup tutorial. So I already have my foundation done, and if you guys are interested in watching that, then go ahead and check out my foundation routine. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video down below if you're interested. So first I go ahead and take my NARS Laguna Bronzer just to add some color back into my face. And if you actually have already seen my foundation routine, then these clips might look familiar because I did end up filming these both at the same time. But I wanted to include this part in this video as well just so you can see what I do from foundation forward. So I just take the bronzer across my cheeks and across my forehead, across my jawline, and also a little bit down my neck. Next, I'm going to take my NYX blush in Dusty Rose. I really like wearing this blush to work just because it is a matte blush and I just feel like matte blushes are a little bit more professional. And because I did use a matte blush, I think it's okay to go ahead and use a tiny bit of highlighter. So here I'm taking Benefit's What's Up highlighter across my cheekbones and also on my cupid's bow. And now on to eyes. The first thing I do is prime my lids using Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. One thing I would say with this primer is that a little bit goes a long way. And I probably even used a little bit too much here. The main palette that I'm going to use for eyes is the Naked Basics palette, which I absolutely adore. So the first color I'm going to take is Walk of Shame, which is a light matte pink color. And I go ahead and pat that all over my lids and a little bit up into the crease just to make blending a little bit easier later on. Next I take Naked 2 and I just work that into my crease really lightly using a really really cheap grease brush that I believe I got at Target. Now I'm sure as you could tell this is definitely more of a natural look. I'm really more focused on just giving my eyes some definition as opposed to really loading them up with shadow. And then after I'm done placing the color, I just go ahead and take a clean crease brush and blend it out. And the last color that I'm going to use from the Naked Basics palette is Venus, which is kind of an off-white shimmery shade. I go ahead and use that on the inner corners of my eyes just to make them look a little bit more awake. Now I'm doing this using a lip brush and that's just because the tip of the brush is so small that it gives me so much more control than any of the brushes that I have or by using my fingers. So I really, really like using this brush for that even if it's not meant for it. Next I'm going to take my L'Oreal Double Extend Eye Illuminating Pencil and I'm going to take the off-white side and go ahead and put that on my waterline just to kind of cancel out the redness that I get sometimes around my eyes. And I go ahead and take my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner, which is a felt tip liner. And if you're new to liquid liner, I highly suggest this pencil just because it's kind of like liquid liner for dummies, if I had to say. I have very little experience with liquid liner and this is really easy for me to use. So I'm just kind of using it from the middle of my eye to the outer corner and I'm not really focused on making it perfect just because I'm gonna add some shadow on top of it as well so it doesn't need to be the cleanest line ever. The shadow that I like to put on top of my liner is a Revlon matte shade called Rich Sable. I like to use brown instead of black shadow because I feel like it kind of cancels out the harshness of the black line. Another little trick I've learned is to take my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch highlighting concealer where I tend to get a tiny bit red and I find by using this from the outer corner and pulling it up to my brows it kind of cancels that redness but it actually lifts the eye at the same time. Then for brows I like to use my MAC Charcoal Brown eyeshadow. I just take it on a very cheap angled brush and run it through the spots of my brows that need a little bit of filling in and then I go ahead and brush through it with a spoolie.
then using my Shiseido eyelash curlers, I take them from the very base of my lashes and work it up. And as I'm working the lash curlers up, I make sure to turn it in as well so that my lashes are getting the most curl possible. And then I take my all-time favorite drugstore mascara, which is Maybelline the Falsies, the black drama version of it. I go ahead and take that and just wiggle it up my lashes. I make sure to get the little corner lashes as well because I think that also helps make your eyes look a little bit bigger. And then if I need to, I'll go ahead and take my fingers and separate any lashes that may have gotten clumped together. The last thing I do is take a lip color. The one I have here is the Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi, which is one that does not have any shimmer in it. Or I will usually use the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Honey. Normally I switch off between those two and they're definitely some of my favorites. And this is the finished look where I look kind of bald. And that's the finished look with my hair down. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see more videos just like it. If you want to get in touch, I will leave all my links below. There's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or you can go ahead and leave a comment here on the video. I hope you guys are having a really great day, and I'll see you next time.